We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Philadelphia Phillies. It's baseball, it's the show, and it comes your way next. Daniel Valdez will do the pitching in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, you could tell by this strikeout to walk ratio, two to one, that this guy is more a pitch to contact guy than a strikeout walk guy. Digging in, Eddie James. He comes in today, leading the National League in hitting this year. Boy, and also right up among the leaders in home runs and RBIs. This guy's having an epic season, and he has an outside shot to win the Triple Crown. A bouncer to the left side, reined in. Ah, but the throw will be well late. So a good play, but it's all for naught, as that'll be an infield single. And he will add yet another game to his incredible hitting streak as it now reaches even further into the stratosphere. You know, Dero, I don't know if this thing's ever going to end. This guy's been raking now for almost two months, and he's swinging the bat just as good now as when this streak started to start it off with his first base hit. Yeah, it, do it doesn't seem like he's coming out of it anytime soon. I wonder the pitcher that would create such a tough matchup for this guy to shut him down because he's playing with the big part of the field. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning. Nothing happening there for the Cubbies. So now the Phillies offense will see what they can do. No score. Into the box now, Brian Avila. Up next for Philadelphia, the first baseman, Brian Avila. Side hit hard. A dive and he knocks it down. But he'll recover to get the force at second. A fantastic play. Into the box now, Eddie James. The first baseman, Eddie. First pitch Eddie. on its way. Hit hard to short. He's got it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. To the bottom of inning number four we go, and we are tied nothing, nothing. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And digging in is the outfielder, Brian By. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with or you'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Throw just in time. So next to the plate for the Phils, Rondell Casson. Rondell Casson. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Line drive snagged on a short hop. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Into the box, Eddie James. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. On to first, and they turn the double play. Digging in to try it again, Eddie James. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Like now here there. it comes. Popped him up. Rivas has a play. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. He's proven to be an awfully reliable reliever this season. He wraps this one up and collects his 20th save of the year so far. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. The Philadelphia Phillies get their 20th home win this year. Daniel Valdez earns his fifth winner of the year. 
Michael Slater records the save, his 20th of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Two runs, seven hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Philadelphia Phillies. It's Phillies baseball next on the show. Steven Ishikawa gets handed the ball for the fourth and final game of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matt, we're getting a look at a guy that's really dependable. Last three starts, ERA just under 3.00, and that's some pretty good pitching. Minimizes the amount of walks, keeps his hits down, and if he can do more of the same of that, he should have some pretty good fortune in this one here today. The first base. Digging in, Eddie James. First shot for him here as he enters play, currently leading the senior circuit in batting. Big swing, but he just gets a piece of it. Strike one. Two out, nobody on. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Rivas has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. So a relatively routine start for the top of the first here. Now it'll be the Phillies' turn. No score. Digging in the switch hitter, Leonardo Rivas, as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. This is somewhat of a cause for concern. This guy needs to hit better left-handed against right-handed pitch. First, he's right there. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. At the plate, Mariano Castillo. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. The windup and the 0-1. Round down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Still no score. plate Eddie James will swing it from the left side right here and this is the side of the plate this guy loves to hit at hitting over 350 left-handed hitting against right-handed pitching hey let it fly he's ready here's the first offering driven deep at the wall it is gone A two-run blast to straightaway right field. So he just continues to club the baseball at an alarming rate. And the Cubs have taken a 3-0 lead. Well, if I was the manager, I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy. I mean, he's hit three home runs against them in this series. What more do they need to see? Four, five? Jeez, enough is enough. Eddie James will stride in, but first we take you back to the third as you take another look here at his two-run homer that had him rolling early on. And now a pitch on the way. Popped up. Mora is right there. One pitch, one away. And while we have a moment here, let's look at the Phillies' road to the show report. Two guys there that this organization has to be happy about right now.
leading up for the Phillies. Second base. This is on the ground first over to first. first. Scooped up, right. and he'll step on first himself for the out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Eddie James. Eddie. You got it. Yeah. Let's go. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. It might be. It could be. It's gone. A home run. A solo shot here to left as they will take the lead here. It's now a 5-4 ball game. The crowd was hoping and praying he'd go down. Then he quiets him in a hurry with one swing of the bat. And more importantly than quieting the crowd, it gives his guys the lead. That's what we call timely production by a big-time power. Digging in and looking for more, Eddie James. Eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. We all know this guy's a real good fastball hitter. We saw how far he could hit one. He got a fastball that he liked, and he turned that thing around. Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. One run is scored. Throw into third will not be in time, and it's a two-run double. Well, d you know, they say records are made to be broken, and what a monster year this guy's had. Yeah, there it is, Dan. Most RBIs in one season. I can't begin to tell you as a former offensive player what that means. You want to put biscuits in the basket, run scored in ribbies, run scored in ribbies, and this guy's the best in the business right now. Soft liner towards first. Throw in time for the third out, but it certainly took a while as the inning is finally over. Nine men come to the plate, four score. Nine, one, and two scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. It's the Cubs nine and the Phillies five. Ready for another shot now. Leonardo Rivas. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Rivas. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Popped him up. Casto moving to his left. But it's the first baseman that gets there to haul it in. And that's the second. Hey, it's hard to win games at any point, but to win games on the road, especially in this ballpark, so they are very happy with this win. This one comes to a close with a 9 5 final. The Chicago Cubs came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Alejandro Hernandez earns his third win of the year in relief. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Nine runs, 11 hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For Philadelphia, five runs on nine hits. No errors. They left 11 men on base.